first inning. And a balk called. So Kentucky will score its first run of the game on a balk by Walker Cleveland. That's a really valid point that I never thought of. Ground ball toward the hole. Beautiful play at third by Rodriguez, and that's why he's in the lineup. And he's not the best hitter in the world as of yet, but he's got a heck of a glove. He feels sluggish on the field. Strike three, a KO Thomas goes down looking at a ball that just grazes the outside corner from Jimmy Ramsey. And the reason is because, one of the main reasons, is because of the facilities these guys have. Mm -hmm. It's a high chopper, going to be a close play at first. Rodriguez. Swing and a miss, strike three on a chase pitch low and away. And an exciting. Nelson goes down on strike, side retired. They're in the crosshairs are already heading to Lexington, so they believe they're doing a good job there. And Curtis does a good job here. A run will score on a base hit to left field, and it's a one-run game. Kessler, who's 0 for 2. Kessler rockets one deep center. Franklin backing up at the track at the wall. It's off the base of the wall. This will play to pair. Kessler with a two-run double. It hasn't been quite as controversial as I thought it might be this year. This ball is skied in the center. Will easily score a run as Franklin will haul it in on the warning track. Now Kentucky scores its fourth run of the inning. Fifth run of the game, and the Wildcats lead the Wolverines 5-3 here in the bottom of the fifth. Right? Yeah, four years old. Strikeout, second out. That should do it, and it will. Pick job on the outside corner. Coleman picks up the save. Kentucky picks up its 26th win of the year.